If you are anywhere near Eagle Pass, Texas, and you have a wife and children, if there are women and children that you take care of, if you yourself are a woman and you have no one taking care of you, you need to leave. If you are anywhere in that area, there are 15,000 men. Healthy, strong men, considering what they've been through to get there. 15,000 men. You think these people are just going to just keep sleeping on the streets? They're going to start looking for houses to go in. These men, men without women for miles, for weeks, they're going to go looking for women. Men. Look at this. This is today. This is today in Texas. Hide your kids, hide your wife. And we're not, we're not crazy and we're not racist to say that these people are going to commit violent crimes against women and children. They're used to committing crimes all day, every day, where they come from. That's men. Look at that. Everyone that I can see in that picture is a man. I'm scared for... I'm scared for the people there. Yeah, they're going to be looking for drugs, sex, food, water, and alcohol, and shelter. That's what they're going to be looking for. So this is going to be very, very serious. And we're living in some dire times. And the Lord is going to raise up saviors pursuant to Obadiah 1. And 21. Shalom. Kohalayma. Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem. Kakadash. All praises be to the Most High. Yahweh. In the name of His Son and our Lord and Savior. Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity risking their lives and freedom to do so, pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad in double honor and respect to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson, living in some dire times and dire is going back to dire straits, a narrow passageway of difficulty. So the Bible has all the answers as to what is happening. Not the book of the dead, not the epic of Gilgamesh. Let's read Isaiah 13. Book of Isaiah chapter 13. Let's go down to where their wives shall be ravished. So it talks about that in the prophetic scriptures. Let's go up. The book of Isaiah 13, verse 11. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. So seven women shall take hold of one man, pursuant to Isaiah 4 and 1, for safety and security, protection, Therefore, I will shake the heavens and the earth 
shall remove out of her place in the wrath of the Lord of hosts and in the day of his fierce anger. And it shall be as the chase roe and as a sheep that no man taketh up. They shall every man turn to his own people and flee every one into his own land. So these nations are going to gravitate to their own people. Many of them are leaving now because they're learning that this land is not flowing with milk and honey as it was advertised. They're not generating the same volumes of revenue. They're still making revenue, but not the large volumes of profit that they have historically made. Every one that is found shall be thrust through, and every one that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Many of these people coming over here are paid mercenaries, hirees, paid military age men to help cause chaos, confusion, disruption, panic, fear, so that the global elite, the international bankers, can bring order out of chaos. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. So these are sex-deprived men. Many of them just got released out of prison and have signed mercenary contracts to be military mercenaries, hirees to fight. When we were fighting in Iraq and killing enemies, many of them were hirees. They were not Iraqi people at all. They were from the surrounding territories, Iranian, Afghan, Saudi Arabian, mercenaries hired where the money trails can be tracked back to the international bankers. So how are we killing folks that are not even Iraqis during the Iraq war? So this land is going to be shaken up with nuclear weapons. That's how the heavens are going to shake. That's how the people are going to be dashed to pieces. But so societal turmoil is going to commence first. Civil wars and Civil disobedience, chaos, race riots. Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. The Medes or the modern, the modern Medo-Persian Empire is the Russian alliance with its Confederation of Nations, starting with Iran, China, and North Korea, followed by the former Soviet bloc nations, and Libya and Egypt. Let's go here to the book of Psalms 17 and 9. Let's go to 8. Keep me as the apple of the eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings. So without spiritual interference being ran, we are easy prey, like ducks in the water. No protection, no hedge. And where there is no hedge, the possession is spoiled. So we need that spiritual divine intervention, as in the days of old. Psalm 17 and 8. Keep me as the apple of the eye. 
Keep me as the apple of the eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings. From the wicked that oppress me. From my deadly enemies who compass me about. So the Bible is talking about these things. Being surrounded on every side. By floods of haters. Floods of destruction. Trying to come against those that fear the Lord. The Bible says there should be an insurrection upon those that fear the Lord in every city. Psalms 138 or 7. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of mine enemies and thy right hand shall save me. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endure forever. Forsake not the works of thine own hands. So he has made his elect with great labor, patience, time, pressure over the gradual heat and furnace of adversity, shaping his silver and gold, purging out the impurities. So he's going to save and protect his elect. Psalms 89, verse 20. I have found David, my servant, I have found David, my servant, with my holy oil have I anointed him with whom my hand shall be established. Mine arm also shall strengthen him. The enemy shall not exact upon him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. And I will beat down his foes before his face and plague them that hate him. But my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. And in my name shall his horn be exalted. So the Lord's men of the house of David are going to be chanting. Barakatai Yahweh. Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Barakatai Yahweh. Barakatai Yahweh Shai. And he's going to say, it is my people and the Lord's men shall say, he is our power. Let's go here and get ready to close out the book of Psalms, chapter 18, verse 46. The Lord liveth and blessed be my rock and let the God of my salvation be exalted. It is the most high that avengeth me and subdueth the people under me. He delivereth me from mine enemies. Yea, thou liftest me up above those that rise up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man. So there is salvation in Yahweh the rock of our salvation. And when we understand the scriptures, he is the angel of the Lord that went before the Israelites, that subdued the nations under us. Let's read that again. Psalms 18 and 47. It is God that avengeth me and subdueth the people under me. He delivered me from my enemies, yea, thou liftest me up above those that rise up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Therefore will I give thanks unto thee, O Lord, among the heathen, and sing praises unto thy name. Call Halayla, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So there's victory pre-written, prescribed for the Lord's anointed elect, 
preselected, ordained, and chosen before the foundation of the world. So there is nothing to fear other than a lack of faith in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. The lack of understanding of these times. Hopefully, this lesson has been edifying. All praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Kokadash. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Kwam Yasharala and Abad Baba. We got next, Lord willing. Shalom.